I just noticed I didn't replace that guy. So that sensor I do have in there is for this side. So fuel filter is like behind here. So I can't see. And that's not helpful. But uh, I'm going to poke around and look for it. I'm pretty sure it's there. Uh, hopefully that's easy to get out. Uh, I have the new sensor, so why not change it? So I got a bolt there. And those two, looks like three bolts. There apparently is no way for me to get this big ass tripod under here. It's the best I can do. Uh, I mean, if you're doing this kind of stuff, you can't figure out how to get it out. I'm showing you where it's at. If you can't figure out where how to get it out, then you probably shouldn't be doing it. Um, I sprayed a little PB blaster on it. You hear a lot of talk about pro oil. But, um, I use PB blaster. Why? Because I'm lazy. I don't feel like going to try to find crow oil. PB blaster's right there. Maybe blaster better? I have no idea. I don't care. I should use my ratchet. Power ratchet. It's my exercise for the day. I sprayed the O2 sensor down, which is up here. Probably can't see it, but I sprayed it down. Not that it's going to help, but it's wishful thinking. I don't know what I can do to get this out. I can probably do a better job of not dropping stuff. Oh, come on, man. Fill up. Okay, now I gotta try to get rid of this stupid tripod. Come on there, fella. I swore I was done. But I just keep I thought I'd replace all four sensors, but I didn't. So I figure why not. I'm going to do both. I don't care about uh, doing one and then collecting the data and then trying the other. I'm just going to do it. Now, since this is bank one, and this is the one that seems to be a little negative, I'm going to change it. And all that did was expose another cover. Use some more of this fancy spray. See the filter is behind there. It's hiding behind there. And you got these other two here. Oops, locked. Unlock. Oh, wrong way. This is harder to do one-handed than. Okay. Wow, no broken bolts. That just means that something else worse is going to happen. That's what I mean. Ah, oh, there she is. Two sides to that filter, huh? Let me spray a little more. Okay, let's get in there. And... It's just a, yep, okay. I might want to put those bolts on so I can wrestle with these hoses. There's no telling. This is an original. It's the OG. So it might not come off so easy. I am going to tighten this up so it's... There you go, it's a little more steady. So I'm gonna try to release it. It won't be so bad. Let's see if I can work it a little. Okay, 
move that a little. These ones, I can't film and do it at the same time. Ugh. Or can I? Okay. I'm going to pull the relay and I'm going to crank it over. And I'm going to release my fuel cap. So any pressure that's in there. So that should be good. And this one, the middle one, the one that's too tight for me to get by my hands. This right here, being as gentle as I can, right there. Doesn't take much, man. This thing will not start with no fuel pressure. It ran out of gas on me the, uh, the other day, just sitting on this hill. You see this driveway is pretty steep. And uh, I got gas in it today just to make sure. fancy tool on. This is really for transmissions, this one. Uh, but it may work. It may work for this application. Yeah, it doesn't look it. Let's go on here. Yeah, I don't have the tool in right. I got pliers ones of these I should get. Not working. Well, you get the idea. Put the tool in there, push the tool in, and it releases it. Uh, I can't do this one handed, so I'm going to have to put this down. I had to use a different thing. But that one's off. Nice and leaky all over the tools and all the driveway. I'm sure my wife's going to love that. Okay, and I hate the smell of fuel with a passion, so I'm going to try to get that out of my way for a second. So I'm going to work on these ones. These ones are a little different, so i got to get a little pick and do those ones. I think i got one loose, but you have to open up. The... Holy moly, holy moly. Holy moly. Can you please get a grip here? Okay. okay. Alright. So you gotta open it up and then you have to push this. You have to push this up this direction. You see a little thing there. So that ain't enough. So you push it up and I'm going to do this with this stupid freaking camera phone or phone camera, whatever you want to call it. Get my hands in. Come on. Come on. There you go. Whoo! All right. See, so, see what I mean there? It's kind of have to open it up. Use a pick. I'll see if I can get this one. I'm not doing this one on camera, the whole thing, but I'm going to open it up. Get in here. Just like a clip. And... Come on. Come on there, guy. There you go. See? Just like that. And then you have to push this up. And uh, I'm going to do that off camera. And I got it out. And look at this. Look how dirty this fluid is. Or gasoline. I'd say it needed to be done. Woo. It's black. Man. 
and it's not that clear on that side either. I wonder if I can cut this open with my uh, exhaust pipe cutter just to see what it looks like. Or maybe I should try to use a cutoff wheel. Uh-huh, cutoff wheel. Probably won't work out so well. Now it's not so easy getting this in the clamp because uh, once it's in the clamp, it does not rotate. Uh, and if you try to rotate it by these, you will destroy the pump. Uh, so I'm going to try to match it up as best as I can. Uh, it did go this way. And just get my hand in around the frame. I'm going up over here. And, you know, a lot easier with two hands. And I dropped that there, save it for later. But that's my other one. Stick that on. Now. There you go, and then you push this down, maybe, come in, yep, push it in, and then you just push the point back on. This being a little difficult. Kind of need two hands. There you go. It's kind of got like a little release here. Like that the other one's all in. And this one, do the same thing. Get that off. Yeah, okay. And this one just snaps in. You hit it snap. Pull it just to make sure, and you put your safety back on, and that's done. Well, I saw this hack on the Facebooks, and uh, I am uh, skeptical, but I'm going to try it. Uh, it is slipping, so why not try it? Yeah, I'm not filming it, uh, but if it works... It works. Yep, total bullshit. Doesn't work. So, I can't use heat because I just did the fuel filter. Um, I don't even know if I can get my wrench in there. If I cut it off. I did put a wrench on it. Uh, wrench fits over. 7H wrench. But it is not, it is not going to work. I can't use heat. What a bummer. Holy shit. After a bunch of broken tools, I'll have to show that later. I broke a 7 inch socket. I broke uh, this guy. Um... Finally got it out how to use the air hammer and uh, like a turbo socket. So I chased the threads. That's part of the O2. It came off when I was air hammering it. Uh, whew, what a nightmare. It's supposed to be easy. There she goes. All tightened up. Here we go. I was hoping this didn't fall off inside and I didn't have to freaking listen to a rattle all the time. That's going to be fun getting out. You got that there. That. Snap-on. All my snap-on tools are breaking recently. And this cheap 7 8 I think, is China. China. Junk. Alright, relays back in. See if it starts. Probably won't start since I don't have the keys in it. <laughs> Simple job turns into a nightmare. Fuel filter was the easy part. Well, O2 sensor was supposed to be easy. But 
Let's take out the key a couple times. Mm, nice exhaust leak I have there. Wonderful. Now I gotta check that out. Gigantic hole. I'm pretty sure those will come out. Those bolts. These bolts? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they'll come apart nice. So I got it out. It's going to be pain to weld up. Look at that shit. Can't believe it. Be able to bend it a little more, at least the hole's smaller. Um, I'm gonna have to run a bead all the way around as it cracked there. I didn't want to keep pushing it. Uh, that's good enough. Um, see how this goes. All welded up. I had to go over it a couple times because uh, I started welding, and then all of a sudden uh, it's like a tornado out here. It starts super windy. I'm using MIG, so it blows all the blows all the gas out. Back together, see if it works. Well, it's quiet. I'm surprised. I don't hear nothing. Ugly, ugly. Pretty dirty. Seems to be attached. See if I can get that out of there. Yep, yeah, nope. Yeah, it was uh, pretty dirty. The uh, fluid was black. Oh well. Fuel trim is... At least it came down a little. What's my long term? I still don't have anything on long terms. So, that's probably still going to be negative on that. Uh, I'm going to clean up a little and take this for a road test. test. I'm a couple miles in now. Um, I still don't have any long-term activity yet, which is weird. Uh, that did come down a little bit. It's uh, right around 10-ish for a short-term one bank one. Um, yeah, it's pretty weird. And I, I still hate that math. That math. hate that it's reporting that uh, it's running great it's got a little more pep I'm sure to you know the fuel filter being in the condition that it was is it's gonna help something a little bit you know maybe get a little more gas mileage out of this pig who knows but key on engine running test uh, fuel trims are great there are about two now, okay, no code, which is cool. Um, pending codes. Is there anything pending? No pending codes. Uh, got my FU data. Fuel. Let's see if it saved it. It did. Cool. Alright, my long term did finally start going. My back one is at zero. Um, yeah, bro. Uh, that math. I still don't like that math, but my fuel trims are great. Uh, I'm going to drive now, make sure I don't crash. crash them. Make sure I don't crash. My fuel trim's bank two is, hasn't responded yet. It took five miles for bank one. Actually, it took like seven miles because when I when 
when I cycled the key, it was about uh, two or three miles. You can see as I'm cruising, it's negative five. But at idle, it was uh, it's at zero. I honestly didn't think this thing was going to run any better than it did. This thing's running absolutely great. Uh, I still don't like the way that mass air flowed. Um, oh, there you go. Bank 2 finally came alive. At negative 2. Finally. So, negative 1. This thing running great. Doing all this for learning. So I'm hoping, you know, that I can show, I'm hoping that I can show that every little bit helps, you know, it's, it's not just one thing, it can be multiple issues causing your problems, uh, and you, you just don't, you can't like just say, oh, it's this, obviously if it's just crazy out, like, you know, check engine lights on or something like that, but if you're, like, right there at, at like, a threshold, you know, I wasn't in within a threshold, I mean, it was at negative 17, it still wasn't, it still wasn't tripping the light, and, uh, now I'm down around negative 7, 0 to 7, because I just saw it go to 0 a couple seconds ago, and bank 2 looks a little better. Bank two was positive. Uh, it was actually positive five or six. So it's closer to zero. It's on the negative side, but and also that just woke up. So like I said, I have to drive this a little bit. But I think that I, I think I've beaten this horse so badly. There's nothing left of it. It's just hamburger. Horse burger. I'm gonna sign off for now.